Road bike gear common practices. I recently got a new road bike. A really beginner's one, which is what I am. It is a Triban RC120 with disc cable brakes. I have two questions. Are there gear chainring combinations that I cannot expect to work smoothly? Or I should expect all of them to work just as fine? When does the normal user change the chainring? When I am in the biggest gear in the smaller chainring and I want more, do I have to change to a smaller gear and then to the bigger chainring? I believe your bike has a double crank set with 50 to 34 chainrings. The general advice is to attempt to avoid cross-chaining, i.e. avoid the big ring and biggest 223 cogs in the rear, and avoid the small ring and smallest 223 cogs in the rear. There is actually some empirical testing that shows that these combinations create higher friction in the drivetrain, and they likely wear the chain and cassette out faster also. I'm pretty sure that with almost all group sets, you can expect the chain to actually shift to all the cogs. In the small ring and smallest two cogs, the chain rubs against the front derailleur cage quite noisily, but the rear derailleur does actually make the shift. In my experience, big ring and biggest two cogs are slightly noisier, and you can often trim the front derailleur to reduce the noise that is, the left shifter often can actuate a partial shift which moves the cage slightly, but not enough to go to the small chain ring. Practically speaking, it is fine to leave the chain on the big ring most of the time, and to shift to the small cog when climbing significant hills. In the past, when typical gearing was 53 39 and cassettes had tighter ranges, riders may have been advised to leave the chain on the small ring most of the time. I believe it was conventional wisdom that you wanted to learn to spin the cranks smoothly, at a relatively high cadence. I don't know that there was a lot of empirical basis behind this, i.e. it could just have been fashion. I find that at most normal riding speeds, a 50T chainring leaves me out of the biggest cogs on the rear. Thus, one rubric I use is that if I hear the chain rubbing the front derailleur slightly, I'll downshift in the front i.e. shift to small chainring, which decreases the gear ratio and simultaneously upshift in the rear i.e. shift to smaller cogs, which increases the gear ratio.